you can see that I created here a menu or this menu here. It doesn't look nice. I want to make it looks much better. OK, the menu. Uh, Where is the menu? This is the menu. I want to make it looks. Uh, I hate the background. I'm going to change it. Sorry. Uh, looks messy. So let's choose a nice uh, light color like that. This is nicer. OK, I don't want it to be text. It doesn't look nice, so I'm going to make something much better. Instead of having this one, I'm going to create instead of about me as a text, I'm going to create a button. So what I'm going to do is instead of about me as a word, I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to go insert. Interactive button, the last one. Do you see it, guys? This is interactive button, so I'm going to click on the interactive button. And that screen will comes up to me. You can see the shape of the bottom. Uh, sorry, a button. And you can choose different shape if you want, different color area. There's a lot of, you know, things that you can choose. So I'm going to choose, for example, which one do you like to choose? Uh, let's say uh, choosing like this, for example, this one, or maybe let's go down. There's something button like that. No, I don't want that. Yeah, I'm going to choose. I don't like this and this. So I'm going to choose this one. OK, or maybe four is much better or five. So you can choose OK, this one or any one. I'll choose this one. OK, and you can change that. You can write the text here. So the text here I'm going to write here about. And the link, you have to choose the link, similar way that we did before. So browse will open the same thing. I don't want the bookmark. I want existing page, which is what? About me. And then the target frame, you have to specify it, which is this one. And then you click OK. OK. If you want to change the font, you can change the font and make it bold looks like this. OK, uh, if you want to make it uh, change the font uh, type to another type, you can change it from here. OK, you can make any things that like this you can change the size. Now, this is the original color of that. If you wanted to change the color that when the mouse goes on top of the bottom. Button. The color will change, so I'm going to say the font color will change. OK, so I'm going to change the font color to this color. For example, if the mouse goes on top of it, see that. If you want to change it to another color, you can choose this color. For example, you can see it changed to that color. Uh, when it clicked. After you click on the text, I want it. I click it's become what? Similar to this one. I'm clicking on it, become that this one. And then I can uh, say I can put an image if I want. That should be fine. Okay, you can see it. How does it look like? Now, if you want to change it, you can increase the size. Like this, you can increase the width and make it much better. Control it like this. Uh, yeah. You can put uh, color in the background if you want. But let's say that about me and it will come up here. OK, if I save it, I have to save the pictures as well. And if you go and refresh the page. Which one is better, this bottom or the text one? So it makes that 
page looks nice. We call this interactive buttons. OK, interactive buttons. So I'm going to do another one. If you don't, if you miss something, you can see I'm going to do the academic and the photo. So listen how I do it. I'll delete the academic. OK. And I put the cursor here. And then go insert. Interactive button. And then I can choose the shape. I'll choose the same shape because I want them to the same shape. And this is the font is the same font that I want. I'm not going to change anything. Just keep it like that. And the color keep it the same as the other one. OK. And you can say I'll choose this one. I will choose this one. The size. Can increase the size to 130 because I remember it is 130. Uh, yeah, like that, for example. And you can increase this one a little bit. So I say OK. And it's how it. you can control the size from here if you want. OK, you can control the size from here. Now, I didn't create the link, so I have to go back to the bottom property. It will open the same page. I'm going to write here uh, text academic. Academic. And then I'll choose the link from here. Browse, which is uh, education. I'm going to choose the target frame, which is this one. OK, and then OK. And then after that, I can say OK. All right. Now, I have different buttons, OK? Instead of having that, you can create for the photo and something like that. And it will look like this. If you save it, you have to save the pictures, OK? And then you can go here and say, fresh. You can see the button become what? This one here, academic, about me. Does not change anything. I just change from link to what to? interactive buttons. Now, instead of having um, different colors, because I don't remember how to do that. I don't remember how I did that. How do I do the rest? I can do this, OK? Instead of having different colors, I like this much better. This one, I just make it bold, OK? And it looks nice. This one looks nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say copy. Look what I do. Copy, come here, delete photo, put one here. Because I, do, I don't remember the color. I don't remember what did I do, how does it look like this. And then the search, the same. And then contact me, same. And then uh, about me, I'm going to delete it and I'll make it like this one. So I just copy and paste. Then I can change everyone separately. OK, this one about me. So instead of doing it separately, you can copy it. And I can change the link to about me. And the target frame, this one. OK, this one is ready. I'm going to come here. Second one, what is the second one? Experience. Example, and the link should be not education, should be experience. Uh, where's experience? Uh, do you see it, guys? Uh, I didn't put anything for experience, no. I didn't put anything for experience. Okay, photos. Gonna change this to photos and then I can link it with photos and OK and OK and you have um, the last search. Search I want to make it with what? Make it with the search engine pink. OK, so right click button probability change this one to Bing search. And then I can connect it instead of file. 
I can say www.ping.com. I can choose a website if you want and say OK. All right. And here, contact me. Okay, it's right here. Contact me. And here, I'm going to say browse. I'm going to choose email address. Same thing, put my email at uh, every ct.edu oman for example i'm gonna say the subject anything okay okay and then okay so i'm gonna save all the buttons okay and if you look at the default it's gonna increase this a little bit it's come like that okay this is called interactive buttons one thing here, I have too many files. I'm going to just put the picture in one folder. So I'm going to right click here, new folder, and I'm going to call it image. Okay, and I can move all the image there and select all the image. Okay, you can do that like this. Um, click on control and then select all the image and we have an image here we have an image here and i'm gonna move them to this folder you can see they are all moved now it looks much better 